Uh, welcome. I just thought I'd record a flight tonight from flight planning stage right to installing the flight plan into the G1000 NXI. So the NXI can be updated in the Microsoft, Microsoft Flight Store. So what I'm going to use will be SimBrief tonight. So let's SimBrief is a free flight planning um, web-based soft um, a tool to get you from A to B and look all I've done is I've just uh, filled a few things in uh, that's what I could do I could probably start again just to show you if you're new to uh, flights and so once you come over and create a new flight what's if is red in here it's the only thing you've got to fill out so it looks daunting but it's not really so these boxes up here you could uh, put your airline uh, code in your flight number if you have one so look I'm flying in Australia so our flight number I always choose that now we are de departing from Brisbane International Airport in Australia so that is YBBN and we're just going to take a quick flight only 60 odd nautical down the coast and we're going to go into YB and CG the alternate airport I'm not choosing one uh, we definitely got to find our aircraft so this is the Kodiak uh, um, 100 it's just around here somewhere let's go up one there it is Kodiak 100 and that's it so what it's done it's chosen uh, runway 01 right and we're going to come into runway 14. it's just chosen look i'm happy with the one that they've chosen we're going to come off um, one right come out here hit autopilot it'll swing us around out to asco or we might cut it short and change our flight plan so we just have to fly all the way out there we can fly down to verrick and iPod and Gold Coast. So all we have to do now, if you're happy with that, is just come up and make sure you hit generate. Okay. So I'm going to have two flight plans um, from the same airport when I load this, but that's okay. They are the same. It takes a couple of seconds. There it is. So if you want to look at the uh, briefing preview, just uh, come across here, open that up. And you got a lot of information in here. You got your block fuel, uh, fuel you need, and so forth. Okay, yeah, our altitude was I think five thousand. No, oh, no, they've taken us up to three thousand. Look, yeah, look, and what you can do, you can edit flight. And come back. I'm actually going to put five thousand. All right, and then we can come back and generate flight. All right, so uh, briefing preview, come back in here, and we can see now that that's taken us back up to 5,000. All right, so there's ESCO, and then it's, so really happy with that. So what we're gonna do tonight, um, I'm going to choose a procedure maybe um look the weather's really good at this so i'm going to do an rnav vnav approach in to gold coast so that's that done now i'll just show you uh, the, what settings i have so i'm running my graphics card as a 4800 my cpu is an i5 3600 okay our main board it would be the uh, msi 7 z790 the edge memory uh, ddr5 32 gigs of that i've got a couple of ssd drives and that's about it as i said i'm flying the kodiak this is a paid for aircraft so let's go ready for the fly now i am using a uh, track ir uh, track ir i think it's up to version 5 so i can get around with my head just tilting you know a few inches i can get up and around this aircraft pretty nicely I can come in and zoom in and just have a look. That's quite good. Uh, I've never tried uh, the, the old virtual yet. I'm always running as I'm getting older in my eyes, how much eye strain they would be. All right, so this is how I fly this aircraft. There's uh, a few tutorials online about this aircraft. 
this is how I fly it and um, now those that may be new to flight sim and you're always worrying about your settings look I'd highly recommend going into if you, if you do own a GeForce card is going into your GeForce experience and go, go to home and find your sim and just optimize it okay let, let uh, NVIDIA optimize it for you okay so you can see that I'm pretty happy with these settings it's, it's chosen because of the card okay it's come in resolution it's a 4k monitor which is correct and it's just chosen the best for my system here right and if I go into the game hit the escape key and I come into general options <clears throat> you can see once again uh, it's set up a few things for me now I can change this if I want you know, if I'm not happy but it does a pretty good job and I'm pretty happy. you can spend you can pull your hair out you know, trying things and you know you'll everyone's got you know a theory um, it all really depends on your system your graphics card maybe your CPU you know everything adds um, just you know, to get the extra frame rates out of your system okay so let's just uh, go back and go resume and let's pop out so the end key will get you out of the aircraft you can actually come around and you know just look at the eye candy um, it's a beautiful aircraft it's uh, it's probably coming up to Christmas so it might be on special yeah, check it out I think it's Simworks is it Simworks Studio I do have the paid for uh, scenery here at the airport at Brisbane uh, YBBN that's through Orbix and also I do have the cityscape which is over to the right here all right so let's go up to uh, control three and it's going to turn my fuel uh, levers so down we go I'm into control two and I'm just going to push the firewall fuel shut off and put that in to, to on make sure all my uh, handles are down, my throttle and my uh, RPM and my fuel conditioner levers are in the cutoff position. Come over to control one and I can come in now to my master switch on. All right, I'm gonna to go to control uh, six, to get me over to my uh, Garmin, the 1000 NXI. Now, if you haven't got the NXI, you can get a free update from the Microsoft Flight Store. It's free, and it just updates it for a bit more functionality. Now, to start this, you can hit the Enter key here, or come down hit the Soft key, this last key here. All right, you can use your range tool. Zoom out. So here we are at, in Australia. We can zoom right in and see us parked up right here. At Brisbane Airport. Now you do have these um, up and down here, but I find hitting the V key, um, it's, you can actually zoom around a bit quicker. You can just scroll with your mouse, but it can be a bit slow using the range motion tool. All right, so you can zoom and that's a bit more functionality. Hit the V key, V for Victor. And now to load the flight plan from Simbrief. So you haven't had a fly for a while, so I've just got to remember. Um, we're going to come in and use the big dial here. There's two dials. You've got a small one and a large one. Just under the FMS, just scroll that up once, and you'll see this box will come up. Now it only stays up for about three seconds, so it's a bit of a nuisance. We should start a bit longer. But all we have to do is we're going to scroll it over to FPL or flight plan. So up and one, two, three. Now you can see active flight plan and flight plan catalog. But there's no active flight plan. So we've got to scroll it down to flight plan catalog. So how do that? Once I bring this back up, use the small dial to scroll. I think it's up, I think it is. So just scroll and then up one and flight plan catalog is now highlighted and now we have our active flight plan list as i said i did it a couple of times so let's 
We could choose any of these because they're the same flight plan now. Just got to remember how to activate it. I think it's uh, the right, the right mouse button. Yeah, the right, right mouse button onto the front of the small dial highlights it. And all we have to do is come all the way down to the bottom of the uh, G1000. It's got activate. So just under activate, there's a soft key, that fifth key. Just click it, left click it. Activate the flight plan. Yep, I'm happy with that. Click OK, but you've got to hit enter. Now that'll pull this in from Simbrief. And there is the flight plan. Or hit the V key for Victor. And we can see off that one right. Come off. I won't hit autopilot till I'm pretty stable, but probably be around here somewhere. We'll come back in. As I said, I might cut this ASCO short and and um, fly direct down to Verkic. Alright, so I'm happy with that. Looks good. Now this is a fairly short flight plan, so what I'm going to do is do a RNAV VNAV approach. So what I'm going to do is come over and hit the procedure button. And that's going to give me uh, some procedures. I can select an approach, select an arrival, or select a departure. So look, I'm not going to select an arrival because it might take me too far out into the ocean or the land, but I'm just going to select an approach. So if we hit the enter key, we'll have all these approaches that we can choose from. So we do have an ILS into 14 because that's the runway we're flying into, but look, the weather's really good. So let's, why not, um, we need to roll the small dial down until, why don't we choose the RNAV GPS Z runway 14 LNAV VNAV. Um, yep, I'm happy with that. We'll go enter. Okay, it's giving us some vectors. Um, because we're really close, look, we should be coming down through here. I might have to delete a couple of vectors or. So let's just scroll that down to, yeah, we'll choose that one there, we'll go enter. Uh, I'm not too sure what the minimums are for this airport. Let's just, uh, look, let's just guess, go Barrow and maybe, uh, I'm just going to put one in, say 250 will do. Go enter, and now we're going to go use the big dial and roll all the way through these till we hit load. So down we go, just rolling my mouse button, and enter, and there's our flight plan. So I'm just going to hit V, have a look, because I'm a bit concerned, yeah, there's something, there's some funny business there, but that's alright, we can, um, we're probably going to delete this one, and this one, so NC and NI, so let's just come back, um, uh, let's go. Just want to go back to flight plan. Sort of thing. Just right click. Yeah, right click with the mouse. Uh, roll down until I come to NC. It's highlighted and go clear. Do I want to remove it? Yes, I do. So I'm going to enter that. And I'm going to get rid of this NI, so I'm going to go clear and enter. And that's a lot better. So let's go B for Victor on the keyboard. Off we go. And I think we've got a pretty good flight plan straight into the Gold Coast. Okay, I'm happy. We'll come back and we'll check out our active. It'll give us a TOD in minutes once we reach um, our descent uh, point on the flight plan and it'll take us down to 1190 feet where I'll go off autopilot and we'll land the aircraft hopefully. Okay we can just hit flight plan again, that'll get us back to our map. We can use a range tool to zoom in and let's go control one and why don't we why don't we turn our buses on, avionics and auxiliary bus on 
and we're currently at zero feet so we want to take this aircraft our flight level tonight will be that 5000 yeah I find this aircraft is you can't hold the knob and it rotates faster you've got to just keep rotating the mouse so 5000 I'm happy with that uh, let's turn out turn our your damper on our flight directors can go on I'm flying GPS tonight so come down to the CDI needle and just click it twice to get to that GPS uh, roll so I want to hit the uh, nav button and that should give us a GPS in white now that will change to solid green once we probably start taxiing or get near the runway um, vertical speed look um, I want to be said said that now so VS and once I had autopilot what I want to climb at I'm just scrolling down and I'm going to take that up to 1000 feet per minute so once I hit autopilot the aircraft will fly the GPS course at 1000 feet per minute all right now I do like hitting the uh, B key Bravo key just to get our um, our um, I've uh, got hectopascals is a, a thousand and eleven, so that sets us about nineteen feet above sea level. All right, so I'm pretty happy with there. Why don't we come down to that beacon light on our strobes and our nav lights can come on, and let's start the sea craft. So let's make sure the brakes are set. The brakes are on. Fuel pump can go on. Ignition can go on. We're gonna. This is a cold start, so let's go low motor start, and let's go to control two, and just look at our engine gauges here. Okay, I'm just going to increase the fuel condition to low idle. I'm happy with that. Good, so let's increase our prop RPM to max. All right, let's put our flaps down to one. Go back to control one, and I'm just going to bring my nose just up to about there. Just trim that aircraft nose up. Looking good. Going to come and turn that fuel pump off. Mission can go off, motors can go to off, and generators can go on. Alright, aircraft started. Just thinking I can, yeah, I can do a turn here. Just grab, make sure I'm on the seat. Just going to turn that off there. Alright, it's going to brakes can go off and right, why don't we just come off to the left here I'm adjusting the seat with the space bar and up and down arrows out of this bay so I'll just get my bearings I don't know, just gonna swing around here could go down to the left there but there is a there's an out just up here so are we just gonna head off to the left here So this is the international departure here and the domestic is further down what is several kilometers down the other end a 
I've turned everything off in the sim, no ATC, no aircrafts. Right, so we're going off on 01 right, just to make sure. Yeah, 01 right's coming up. So we can just go straight on. So I think I said I got real weather and real time is on. Here, just double check everything's right, there's nothing worse. Uh, so we've got 5000 set, correct. Flaps one set, trim set, GPS, green, 1000 feet per minute. All right, let's, let's get my brakes are still on. I've got done um, using flight pedals, I just, uh, just pushed in. going to push my fuel mixture or fuel condition to 100% full and brakes off. Not just a bit of trim there. A little bit of left rudder trim. Wind coming in probably about one o'clock. We go flaps up. Let's reset my trim. Got a trim. All right, we can go autopilot. Stabilize now, so go autopilot now. make uh, a direct two so let's come back into control uh, six and let's come over to this little D with the arrow through it and I'm going to use my keyboard so I'm going to hit that little keyboard symbol so it's highlighted and I want to go down to ver verrect that's so I'm just going to type um, I think it's V E R I K and let's go off the keyboard and enter that highlights my activate so you can see me here i'm going to bypass asco and i'm going to make this right turn to pick up verdict so all i'm going to do is hit enter and there's asco and now i'm going to head down to verdict just like that all right all good at 2,400 and we are climbing at that thousand feet per minute Oh, 
jump out the aircraft and have a look. Now we can lower that uh, vertical speed if we want to just to gather a little bit more uh, air speed. You can just come in and just roll that down. We can drop that down to eight, what's that, 800 feet per minute. That'll just drop the nose down. 700 feet per minute, 750. I'm trying to find a uh, little bit of wind coming in from that uh, one o'clock. It's running on 50. Uh, alt, right alt key, any of these panels, a, a plus sign will come up. You can just left click and they'll pop out. You can expand these. So we can see that wind coming in at around nine knots at that one o'clock. So GPS autopilot, your damper and vertical speed is set at 700 feet per minute. Now if we come into control 6 and hit flight plan, we can see that TOD is at uh, well, about just under 12 minutes away. Alright. Now we are only flying at 5,000 feet and I'm happy with that. So uh, once we reach that TOD, it will take us down to 3,000 and then down to 1190, which we should have good visual of that runway. Take it off autopilot, continue down to roughly that three degree uh, glide slope, and yeah, let's see if we um, can land this okay. All right. Actually, a beautiful day on the. Um, East Coast of Australia. We're at the 5,000, and look, the biggest thing is when you're flying the VNAV, just you don't want to bypass your uh, TOD, so you just got to keep on eyeing this now. You can do this now, or you can do it later, but so I'll just do it now. I've got plenty of time, so I'm going to drop my altitude. I'm not flying down, I'm just going to change it to uh, around that 1190. So I'm just dialing down, you can see it coming down here, 2200 and 1190, so let's go 1200. Now I'm not flying to that now, once I hit that TOD, <laughs> will take you down but you must also I can come in here is hit VNAV right? the little VNAV button here make sure that's highlighted and you can see that also indicated 
on your primary flight display with the Dean Anderson white. Alright, so once you hit that TOD or get close to it, that will change to solid green. Uh, I think it pops itself into about here somewhere. So I'm all ready. So 1200 feet, been there, buttons on, and I'm good to go. So look, sometimes you go to the toilet or you got to do something and you don't want to fly through that TOD because you'll have to fly it manually um, down. If you're in bad weather, it's not going to happen. All right, so look, all stable. So what I might do is just kind of cut the video here and I will come back when we're further up the coast, maybe a couple of minutes to go before we hit that TRAD, so I will see you in a second. All right, we're back, and we can see our TRAD is about a minute and a half away. Now, if I just increase the screen, you can see the TRAD, top of descent. So once we are near that, or on that, that will take us down to here. And then continue to take us down to uh, FAF. Alright, one minute. And it's starting to work out our um, target and our required vertical speed to set down. Alright, it's coming up on uh, s uh, surface. currently at 5,000 feet. Right, I see V path still in white here on the primary flight display. Ten seconds. Path is active. Profile is there. Just on the on the altitude there, you can see. Um, Going to maintain that profile. And we'll just watch our airspeed, we'll just come back on the throttle a little bit. Our BOD's in three and a half minutes. <clears throat> 11.90, that's all good. I'm happy to just to flick that off. And we'll enjoy the ride down. So we've got uh, SeaWheel just over here, so that's a great day out with the kids. Car park, main entrance. Oh, dolphins and sea life, and it's, it's a great, great day out. If you're ever here, a lot of accommodation close by. Okay, so roughly we've got, uh, looks like Burley Heads just here, and the airstrip is just right here, right on the coast. Maintaining uh, that profile, you see the little chevron there, that's just got us coming down uh, beautifully. And I'll keep an eye on that. Once I go up autopilot, I'll kind of keep a rough idea or rough um, eye on that to make sure I'm kind of roughly on profile. Alright, 
so we're at 26 or 2500 coming up just see those uh, the runway lights here I don't know if you can see it in the video they can see them flashing just going to hit the B key again Sure that power is set, so that's all good. bit of a kind of a head wind maybe coming in at one o'clock so uh, just keep an eye on that wind it is blustery I don't know 1200 so I'm gonna take it off autopilot and I'm just gonna watch that diamond um, about my flaps now. Let's trim this aircraft out a little bit and first stage of flaps can go down. Second stage can go down. Whoa. And full flaps. Five hundred. Five hundred. The wind's totally coming in from the left now. Oh, man. Get the sick bags out. Pull a little bit high. Just trim this out. Come on, down you come. That was a bit of a hairy ride, but uh, gee, how many knots is that? Golly, eleven knots. All right, so yeah, Gold Coast. So we're down in one piece. So hopefully you enjoyed the flight as much as I did. Thanks for watching.